it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo of the 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L and its 19 speaker Macintosh audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, inputs, controls, speaker locations, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Then we're going to go out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. There you can hear member requested tracks, it's other music, real music, things that you all want to hear, and it helps support the channel. So if you're interested, check the link in the description. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. This is a very beautiful uh, Summit Reserve Jeep Grand Cherokee L top trim. It is rocking the V6, but other than that, it's got all the good trimmings. We've been having a lot of fun with it too. It's a really nice car to drive. We're gonna be towing here right after this. I'm gonna be hooking up the trailer and kind of testing out the V6 to its limits. You can see I've already got the, the rear plastic bit off there. So if you do wanna see more on the Grand Cherokee or the Grand Cherokee L, check the links in the description. We'll have all sorts of videos. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So let's take a look at those now. Very good Uconnect screen here. I believe this is Uconnect 5, Uconnect 4 or 5. I, I get confused. I'm pretty sure it's Uconnect 5. I can't remember. But it has all sorts of inputs, controls, and a really nice display. So you can see there's the home screen. But we're going to go to media and up to audio settings. Starting at the top, you have your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. You kind of drag it all around the car here and stick it right back in the middle. Three band equalizer with bass, mid range, and treble. Let's go through those now. I am disappointed to not see a multi-band, a larger multi-band equalizer in a luxury vehicle like this. If this is truly a, a hi-fi luxury style audio system, a lot of people are going to expect an, an 8, 9, or, or even a 5-band equalizer, but it is what it is. Then you have speed adjusted volume controls, 1, 2, or max, or off, and a surround setting. Let's try on and off. It does sound a little bit more hollow. I think I'm gonna test with surround off for now. We'll, we'll play with it on and off throughout our driving, but I think we're gonna get a more realistic and better sound with that off. And all the other adjustments are just for things like volumes. There's no sort of EQ other than that. For audio controls in the Grand Cherokee, you have this nice volume knob here, really easy to control. It's got nice clicks to it as well. You also have volume on the back right of the steering wheel. For track selection, a lot of different options. You can do it with the touch screen on the now playing screen use this tuner knob here or you can use the back left of the steering wheel for audio inputs in the new grand cherokee you've got just about all of them you have your standard am fm sirius xm satellite radio bluetooth two usb a ports and two usb c ports a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and is there any sort of streaming function oh uh, you do have wireless and wired apple carplay and android auto i don't see any streaming that doesn't mean you can't possibly add an app here. Come on, let's go apps. The screen does take a little while sometimes. You can see how long it's taking to load. Um, I see Sirius XM. I don't see any sort of like Spotify or anything. Again, maybe they'll add a functionality for that, but other than that, that's it. So what does it mean you're missing? Well, other than the streaming, not really anything. Technically, you don't have a disc player. A lot of people won't really mind that, but I mean, you've got everything else, so it's just something worth noting. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 19-speaker sound system with speakers in 12 different locations. Starting in the bottom, you've got one door woofer, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are all coaxial sort of dual speakers. Eight door woofer in the back. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Back there, more coaxials, and then Opening up the trunk, you got Mr. 19 being a big old subwoofer on the left right there. Where is it there? 
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto demos. We're gonna start off with Android Auto. One cool thing that the Jeep offers is the ability to have two phones linked up at once. So if we go to, maybe the best way to get to that, maybe right here. Mm, device manager, there we go. You can see I've got both my iPhone and my OnePlus Android phone connected at the same time right now, but the OnePlus is connected for Android Auto. I have it plugged in, but you can do it wirelessly as well. There we've got your Google Maps looking really good. I will say the screen is angled quite up a lot. So if I'm sitting here in my driving position right now with the panoramic sunroof open, I'm getting a ton of sun glare reflecting off that. I would have to close this roof if I were driving like this. I can barely see the screen and it's reflecting in my eyes. But hopefully you all can see it okay from the other camera angle. Let's go to YouTube Music. You can see that up there, nice dark screen. Let's go home, there are your apps. Refresh rate seems okay. The resolution is fantastic. It looks very sharp. And there's settings. All right, let's switch over to Apple CarPlay. Let's see if we can do it here without disconnecting any of our devices. Do you want to switch connections and end your current Android Auto session? Yes, that's such a straightforward use. I really like how easy that is. You can see my iPhone is not connected via any cable. It's just wireless. And look at that. It did pause our music. It's figured we wanted to play Apple CarPlay music. That's okay but you can see your home screen of Apple CarPlay. Swipe over and get your apps. Again, not the highest refresh rate, but it's it's pretty good. And the resolution is really, really good. There's your Google Maps looking nice. Apple Podcasts right there. Let's, uh, let's pull up the DM Podcast, play that a little bit in the background. Yeah, that's a jam right there. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get this stuff put away and get out on the road.
happy with the accuracy and the power in the mid ranges of the system. There are a lot of cars you turn it up loud on these tracks and the mid range just comes through harsh. Even if you can turn it down, it's you're not getting that that driving upper base and lower mid range in there. But that's what I'm getting from here, and I'm really happy with that. It's pretty accurate. Nothing's coming through hard in my ears. I'm enjoying listening to it. This next one, we'll turn the bass all the way up. And I will say, I do think the bass is a little high on stock EQ. It's, it's very stereotypical uh, Fiat Chrysler Stellantis vehicle to have the bass a little too high and the subwoofer working overtime. But uh, even without turning it up, it's probably going to be really high. And then I'll turn it up, it'll probably be a little bit distorted. But we'll see. Already pretty strong, I'm getting some mirror shakage. satisfied. I was a little nervous because the Macintosh system I tested in the Grand Wagoneer didn't blow me away. I was I was a tad disappointed. It was kind of like the Lincoln Revel system. I was like, yeah, they got a lot of speakers and a lot going on here, but we're missing a good equalizer and the sound quality is just, just not wowing me. I think in this system, everything's really tight. It's powerful. Stock settings are a little heavy on the bass, but that can be remedied and some people might appreciate that. It, it's just a little bit short of the amazement factor of, of an S-tier system with all of their various adjustments and the, the just sheer envelopment of the sound, but it is close and it's getting an A. Definitely a strong system. I'd be happy to listen to it day in and day out. I think a lot of you more audio conscious will appreciate it as well. Thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Grand Cherokee, check the links in the description. We've even got a little short members only test for this one of the audio because I had to evaluate it a little more thoroughly. So I recorded that process for you and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor and as always, drive on. <laughs>